King Arthur is a legendary figure from medieval British literature and folklore. He is often depicted as a heroic king who ruled Britain and defended it against invading forces, particularly the Saxons, during the early medieval period. According to legend, King Arthur gathered a group of noble knights known as the Knights of the Round Table, who embarked on noble quests and adventures in the service of justice and chivalry. The legend of King Arthur has been retold and adapted in various forms over the centuries, including in literature, art, music, and film. However, the existence of a historical figure matching the legendary King Arthur is a subject of debate among historians. In history, there are some pieces of evidence and historical documents which may be able to help prove that King Arthur was a real person. Here are a few examples. Some early Welsh texts, such as the Historia Britannum, attributed to Nennius and the Annals Cambri, which means Annals of Wales. They contain references to a figure named Arthur who is described as a warrior or military leader. These texts are some of the earliest written references to Arthur, and they are thought to date from the 9th to 10th centuries. Also, some archaeological sites in Britain have been associated with the Arthurian legend. For example, Tintagel Castle in Cornwall was a prominent fortress during the early medieval period, and it has been linked to Arthurian legend by some scholars. Moreover, some medieval literary sources, like Geoffrey of Monmouth's Historia Regum Britanniae, which means History of the Kings of Britain, and the Arthurian Romances of Crétine de Troyes. Although they are not considered as historical, they do reflect a collective imagination and folklore surrounding King Arthur which suggests there may have been some basis in reality. In addition, some place names in Britain have been interpreted as potentially connected to the Arthurian legend. For example, the name Camelot has been associated with various locations, though there is no consensus on its exact location or historical significance. It's important to note that these pieces of evidence are not considered as some strong forms of evidence. They are fragmentary and subject to interpretation. The lack of contemporary historical records and the embellishments found in later medieval literature make it difficult to determine with certainty whether King Arthur was a real historical figure or a purely mythical one. As a result, the answer, like the elusive grail itself, remains hidden in the shadows of time, is still waiting to be discovered. Or it may probably never be solved. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.